guys welcome to all jazz channel oh my jazz i finally created my own youtube channel about my travels and i'm so excited to share it to you guys i've been always wanting to do this but i never got the chance and strength to do it and now i realize that i should have done it a while back but because I really enjoy sharing my journey, the things that I did, and um, the experiences that I had with travel. I am so excited, so I hope you guys can join me in this journey. But before I start, I'm gonna do my my quick turn that I usually do in the beginning of my video. <laughs> Time! <laughs> So yeah, let's get it started. I'm gonna be actually talking about Morocco first, so hope you guys like it. Beautiful Morocco. It's such a beautiful country. Um, how we got there, we flew from San Francisco to Barcelona. We actually, I searched it through an engine called momondo.com and from there um, we got to book um, to American Airlines and it was only like 330 US dollars from San Francisco to Barcelona. So it's a really cheap deal. And then from Barcelona to Marrakesh, we took Buelling Airlines and it was like um, 130 US dollars. So it's, it was still a very, very good deal flying from the United States all the way to Morocco, Marrakesh. So it was really a good thing that we kept searching for the cheap ticket. And finally, when we got a really good cheap deal, we just went ahead and did it. So that's a good way to look at it. You just have to be very flexible on when to fly. Um, and if you're very flexible on flying, you could get a lot of good cheap ticket deals. So then we reached Marrakesh. We checked in at Riyadh Zijane and immediately at Rio Zijana, we saw these tours that was available in the hotel. And so we're like, oh my gosh, let's just do it. So we got this 25 euro tour um, going to Eswara. And um, before we get to Eswara, we pass by an area where goats were hanging by trees. Then we also got to see um, a place where they process argan oil which is such a very popular oil in morocco and we also finally got to see aswara which is such a good place to be at especially in the summer in morocco around august because it's so hot in morocco it's like a hundred degrees most of the time so at least in Eswara, it's a little cooler, around 80s maybe, and so we really enjoyed just walking around Eswara. And here are some clips of the whole um, Eswara tour. And before I forget what I got from Ms. Suarez's is beautiful dress. Um, I negotiated, it started at 150 dirhams and I actually negotiated to lower it to like 100 dirhams. So in Morocco, you really have to know how to negotiate. It's like part of their culture when you buy stuff. So here's a very cute show of like how pretty this dress is. <laughs> so only, only 100 dirhams, which is about 10 euros. So 
they really have a lot of beautiful things to sell a lot of beautiful products carpets letter bags wallets earrings they have it all so it's a really good place to shop but don't forget to always negotiate when you buy products there the following day we actually just stayed in marrakesh we explored marrakesh um, First thing, we saw how letter was made, the process of letters, and there's a pic that's going to be following after this. And then we also got to see the spices. It's so full of color and it's just really, really like so pretty. <laughs> so here are some pics. And also, um, we wandered around and once we got tired, we went to this cafe called Ate Cafe. And it's such a beautiful place if you need a place to stay cool for the day and just have some beverages it's a really cool place because it's like a little like breezy and also it has a very beautiful view of marrakesh so if you guys get tired of walking or wandering around you could go to ate cafe but be always careful. What I also noticed in Marrakesh is that there are plenty of fake tourist guides. They would try to offer you help and ask you like, do you need help finding directions? But try not to listen to them because a lot of times they're just going to try to lose you or get you lost. So and then they always want to charge you money for asking for them like guiding you towards where you need to be so just be aware that there's a lot of fake tourist guides in marrakesh and just be careful about that part In the middle of the day, we got to um, Jama'a El Afna Square. It's a really popular square in Marrakesh. And here, there's so much energy, the hustling, the bustling, colors, food, entertainment. This is really like a popular square. And you guys have to definitely experience it because there's so much energy. And it's just full of life. And it's like one of my favorite things that I did. And once we got there, we got to just wander around and just look for more beautiful products and shopping, of course. So here's the clip. actually had a chance to dance with a cobra <laughs> it was a really really fun experience i was just like oh my god i don't want to do it but my best friend convinced me that i should do it so i did it and it was a really really fun experience so if you guys get a chance you guys have to go to jama el efna or el Fna Square and look for the person that plays a flute with a cobra. You guys might really really enjoy it for only one euros or however how much you want, guys want to give this person that plays the flute with a cobra. It was really a fun experience. Like it was fun except I got really scared in the beginning because I thought it was gonna bite me or something but here's the clip.
like a Jama El Ethna Square. It's really beautiful. There's just music, there's lamps everywhere, and there's like delicious food everywhere. You guys have to definitely experience it. Here's This ends my part one of my Moroccan journey. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you guys get a chance, please like and subscribe and please share. And please feel free to comment. Thank you so much everybody for being part of my journey. I am so excited and I hope you guys have a fabulous, loving day.